Hi everybody, Elin here. I am here with my friend Jamie. Hi. And since we're really late as it is, because <laughs> it's currently, you know, July, but we're here to do the media freakout tag. And I will link the creator's video down below so you can go check that out. Uh, but this tag is made up of a couple of questions and we're both going to answer them. Yes. So it's pretty much summarize what we've read so far this year. So the first question is, or statement is, best book you have read so far in 2018? And I definitely have to say Renegades because I freaking love that book. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. And that's written by Marisa Meyer and it has superpowers and good and evil and it's just amazing. So what's your answer? <laughs> and I have actually three books and the first one is also Renegades by Marisa Meyer because it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I also have to say A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Very, 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 very good. <laughs> <laughs> very eventful. <clears throat> yes. And, and the last one? And also The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. I really need to read that one. Yes, it's amazing. I'm working my way through all of his books. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get there one day, I just need to buy it first. Best sequel you have read so far in 2018. And for this one, I have to say Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, because that book killed me. Yeah. It's good. That's the first book I have, but I also have A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab and that's the third and final book in a Dark Shade of Magic trilogy and that was amazing. Yeah. I love the world and magic system so much. And the characters. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the two books I had. What are yours? Yeah, I have three because I can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> know the feeling. And I also have Obsidio. Mm -hmm. Yep, I feel like I'm... We, we read a lot of books together and also we have like the exact same Thames in books. So it's not pretty much. We have done the same answers. And I also have Legendary by Stephanie Garber. Because I love that book. She loves Carol and I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the first book we don't both yeah. love or either hate. I loved it. And also A Gathering of Shadows by V. E. Schwab. Yeah, that was a the good second book. book. Yeah. That's, that's when you really find out about the magic, magic system and the powers. Yeah. And, um, I really like that one too. It's my favorite. Yeah. I understand why. Yeah. The third question and that is new release you haven't read yet but you want to. So for this one I chose My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jodie Meadows. Totally remembered all of the names. I was so proud. Very, very <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> exactly. So I read My Lady Jane by them in 2016, 17. I don't even know when. And I love the book. And we both reread it together this year because we wanted to be prepared for My Plain Jane. And it's like Ghostbusters. Yeah. But with Jane Eyre. And I love Jane Eyre. Yeah. So it's going to be awesome. And I do it's own real. the book. But we're going to bun read that one together and she hasn't even bought it yet. Yes, I know. Shame on me. Shame on you. <laughs> A lot of it. But yeah. <laughs> I'll finish listening to Jane Eyre before so I have like four hours left and then we're going to buy the book and then we're going to read it and yeah. then we're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. So what's your... My answer for this is From Twinkle With Love by... Sundar Menon. Yes. yes. So I've read that one. It was okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the fourth question is my most anticipated release for 2018, the later half. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> so for this one, I have three answers because one is just not good enough. Yeah. So we have Arch Enemies by Mercer Meyer, which is book two in the Renegades. And since I love that book, obviously. So I need to read the second one. And it's going to be epic. Second one I have is Wild Card by Mary Lou. I really loved um, Warcross and it was really cool with all the computer and like really high techy techy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to know what's going to happen. I think it's a duology. Is it a duology? I think so. But yeah, we think so. We're not positive. very good at that shit. Yeah. Um, but I really want to read that one and I really love the first book and I kind of want to read, kind of want to reread it even though I read it this year. So you know the struggle is real. <laughs> And then the last book I'm really looking forward to is the illustrated edition of Beetle the Bard. And that's because, you know, my collection won't be complete without it. And I do love the stories in it. So I definitely need that one too. Yeah, you do. I do. <laughs> I do. So what's yours? Yes, I also have three books because... Can't decide. Brand. <laughs> Can't decide. And the first one is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Oh, I want that one. 
It's gonna be awesome. Yes. It's ghosts, but middle grade. Yeah. And it has a cat in it. What else do you need? Exactly. We love cats. Yeah. Yeah. They were the best. Exactly. And then the second one is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Oh, I want to read that one because it's Brandon Sanderson. So of course I I need it in my yeah. life. And the third one is also Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. See, yeah. we're practically the same person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we come to question number five, which is a biggest disappointment. And for this one, I'm going to say Three Dark Crowns by Kinder Blake. I was bored out of my freaking mind, so not going to continue over the series. And then we also have The Wicked and the Divine by some people. You'll see the cover. <laughs> um, and I like the concept because there's like God and magic and stuff in it. But I was so confused the entire way through, so I have no idea what the hell happened. And I am not about that shit. So yeah, those are my answers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and my answer is The Glass Bear by Lauren De Stefano, maybe? Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, it was very boring. We bought read that one and she was really hyped for it. I yeah. was kind of eh, going into it. Uh, we both really disliked it. Nothing happened. Nothing happened and it wasn't just it was cool enough. No. Like, we thought the concept was cool that she could make like gemstones from things she touched, yeah. but it was just kind of meh yeah. in, you know, the way it was done. It wasn't, it wasn't very, it wasn't the worst book I've read, but it was just meh. Yeah, and that's not a very good, like, you know. Nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's not a very good, you know, um, thing to say about the book. No. It's not a good review point. Um, but we're moving on to question number six. Number six is biggest surprise. And for this one, I actually have only the one book. But that is Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. And this is book one in the Reckoners. And I know she loves it. Yes. <laughs> um, but this year is the year where I started reading Brandon Sanderson. And that was one of the first books I read. It was the first book I read, actually. Except a graphic novel that I thought was kind of eh. But, um... This book is superpowers. It's like evil versus good, and I love that jazz. It's and amazing. It was so good, and it's I was funny. it was hooked. <laughs> like it kicks off with so much action yeah. right from the start, and you can't put it down. And I'm currently working my way through book three, and I'm sold completely. And that's why I'm going to read anything Brandon Sanderson at this point. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> that's good. I'm doing it for you. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, that's mine. So, what's yours? I have three answers again. <laughs> the first one is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Yeah, that was good. It was very good. And very different. I've never read yeah. anything like it. Very unique. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. And then Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. Oh, I love that book. Very good contemporary. Mm -hmm. And also The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Yeah, I actually told you to read that one. Yeah. I tell her to read a lot of shit, but it takes like two years for her to actually read it. But I have read them. <laughs> After like one or two years, and then she comes and tells me, Oh, they were so good. I'm not like, told ya, a year ago. It's not the first time. But I still read them. That's I know, and I'm always right about them. Yeah. See? So far. Wow. Question <laughs> number four seven is favorite author debut or new to you so i actually have two answers for this one the first one is emma mills that jamie mentioned earlier and that is because she read foolish hearts this adventure ends first and then i read all of those books this year and i really really loved them um she's definitely one of my new like autobi authors i feel like um i'm really looking forward to her next release which will be I want to say February 2019. It's the beginning of the year, at it's least. a long time. I know. So I'm really, like, highly anticipated that one. And then the second one, of course, is Brandon Sanderson. I think I've almost bought all of his books by now. <laughs> and I've only read, like, seven of them. So, you know, it, 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 I'm working through it. Yeah. But his books are awesome. And I really do hope that I like the adult ones, too. Because so far, I've only read the middle grade and the young adult. Yeah. I think you will. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so, because otherwise I've spent a lot of money in vain. But they're very pretty. They're so <laughs> pretty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say V.E. Schwab, because I read The Darkest Shade of Magic, the whole trilogy, and I loved it, even though I have read two other books by her last year, but I think now, after A Dark Shade of Magic, she's like... Yeah. One of my favorite authors. Yeah, I get that too. She was one of my new favorite from... Um, from this year too. 
only till make my list now. <laughs> <laughs> but her books are really, really great. It's a yeah. shame she hasn't written more. Yeah, sure. But we're both looking forward to Seed of Ghosts. Yeah. Because we like middle grade. It's good. I have question number eight, which is newest fictional crush. And I don't really get crushes, but if I have to mention one, I'd say Diego from Listen to Your Heart by Casey West because he was adorable and yeah, very funny. Was. Yeah. Yeah. And he just made the story complete. So, you? And I don't have an answer because I never get fictional crushes anymore. I'm too old. Unless it's Simon. <laughs> Swoon! <laughs> yeah, he was pretty cute. Yeah. yeah. So or blue. So question number nine is newest favorite character and once again you have to say Brandon Sanderson one and it's actually Alcatraz Smedry which is the main character from yeah. his middle grade book. I have read the first four books and I own the fifth and I just want to dive right into that one. Um, he is hilarious. He's funny and he's smart and they have weird magical powers and he's really weird about it. <laughs> and I love him so much. I wish we could be friends. He's awesome. He's awesome. He really is. She's only read the first book, so I'm ahead. Yeah. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did you answer for this one? Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Delilah Bard from A Dark Shadow Magic. Oh, she's kick ass. She's kick ass, and she's just awesome. She's very sarcastic too. Yeah, we like that. And she wants to be a pirate. We like that too. Yeah, <laughs> pirates are awesome. There needs to be more pirate books. Yeah, I know. We're always looking for them, so if you guys know any pirate books that we might not have read, comment down below yes, and we'll please. definitely check them out because we, we don't more. have a lot. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Book that made you cry? And I feel like I've answered this question like 5 billion times on different tags, so I thought I would say a different book. Yep. A new book from this year, and this might be a little bit weird because it's a contemporary. Yeah, that's and that's weird. weird. Yeah. I don't usually cry to books. I don't have a lot to choose from, but this was a happy, like a frustrated cry. I'd say okay. it was not really a cry. It was more teary eyed, but you know, it was there. Yeah, it happened. I admit it. it. Counts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So that was "Listen to Your Heart" by Casey West. I was just fr so frustrated because nothing went the main character's way, and nothing worked, and everything just went to hell all the time. And I was like, "Can they make it work sometime?" Like, I mean, it was a frustrated cry, but you know, it was a good book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My answer is one of your favorite books, mm -hmm. and it's "Wonder." By Yay! R.J. Palacio. Yeah, and I never cry in books. It died. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder by R.J. Pa Palacio. Yeah, or something <laughs> That's like that. One. <laughs> and I never cry in books. Like never. It was so. It's, and it's I so didn't oh. like sob because I was reading it on a plane. So. I couldn't. Otherwise you would have saw. Yes, I would have. Because it was so so many feelings. Oh yes. Yeah. And this is a book I've told I've tried to tell you to read for like a year. Yeah. And she's like, no, I don't know. And then she nervous. find her read it. And she was like bombarding me with things like, Oh what the hell? What's going on? Yeah. There? All the time I was like, told ya. So many feelings. I know. But yeah. they're not like full out sobbing. I was Pretty much hysterical. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> so that was pretty strong, even though I wasn't a plane because I've I've cried on the bus. Ah, oh, okay. I, so I not for that, but I did others. But you know, it was you know Harry Potter, so ah, can't help that. But yeah, it was a really good book. I wish she would write more. Yeah. Because I need more. A book that made you happy. And for this one, I said The Knights of Crystal with Brandon Sanderson. This is book three in the book about Alcatraz. And I mean, Alcatraz is just hilarious and he's so sarcastic. And yeah. when he's just trying to figure out um, the different powers that his family members has, and I love it. Yeah. It's so good. So that made me like laugh a lot or snicker. <laughs> And my answer is actually Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarians, book one, because I haven't read the rest of the series yet. Maha. <laughs> but mm. yeah, so funny. It's so great. Yeah. You definitely need to read the rest. I know, I have to buy them first. It's like one of the best middle grade series ever. Yeah. It's so good. And so different. Yeah. 
that's what we need most beautiful book that you have bought or received this year so i'm going to show you the physical copy because otherwise you won't be able to appreciate it Ooh. so for this one i chose cersei by madeline miller and this is so beautiful look at it ah it's so pretty i know and the back too and then which is what we always do when we buy a new book we take off the dust jacket and then we ooh and ah and look ooh. at that <laughs> The best public ever. <laughs> but look at it, it's so shiny and, and it, beautiful. And it has a map. I know, it's so pretty. I like it. So this is definitely one of the most beautiful books I have ever bought. I need that in my life. Yes, you do. So I really hope I like the plot of it because I haven't actually read it yet, but I do want to. So hopefully I will like it so I can keep it. Yeah. I need to keep it. <laughs> Yes, and my answer is The Surface Bricks by Louise O'Neill, <laughs> and it's so pretty. I don't have it with me, unfortunately, but it's... And I don't own it, but no. I do want to, because yes, it's so beautiful. it's gorgeous and under the dust jacket. It's a mermaid retelling? Yes. It's yeah. so pretty. I need it. You do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> we like and pretty things. Yeah. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? Uh, for this one, I have actually chosen an entire trilogy. And that is Daughter of Smoke and Bones by Lainey Taylor. I did read Strange to Dreamer last year, absolutely loved it. And I want to read more by her. And I do own the entire trilogy in Swedish. And I've had it for like two years. So, I mean, I need to get started. Yeah. I do. I need to finish up series. It's going so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your answer? Yes, my answer is uh, Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson and also Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Oh yes. Because I really need to read them. I do too. Yeah. But maybe I should start the series first. Yes. You have to read Mistborn. I know! <laughs> I'm working on it! Favorite book community member. And I've actually like recently changed my mind about this, I feel like. Um, but the two I like the best is Regan from Peru's Project and Hannah from A Clockwork Reader. Those are the two booktubers I actually watch the most. And I really love Regan's vlogs because they're hilarious and really good. And Hannah is just the most soothing voice ever. Yes. So I really like her too. I think my answers are the same. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're the same person. <laughs> but they are really, really good. And they've done yes. this for a really long time. So they know what they're doing. And I also like Jesse the reader. Yeah, he's fun. He is. Very funny. So I will link your links down below if you are not already following them, which you should be. What are you doing with your life? Um, they but probably are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. So those were all of the questions we're going to mention or talk about today. And like I said before, I will put the creator of this video idea down below so you can go check it out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please don't forget to give us some thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the little button down below you're so behind <laughs> <laughs> and yeah i hope we see each other next time bye, bye.